Uh, hi friends, uh, this is Lakshman. Welcome back to your YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to share what is the uh, bug life cycle and uh, how it will be achieved uh, to get the bug. Okay, uh, whenever we are developing any software, uh, first we have to review the software products to improve their quality by identifying the potential bugs and problems. So the bug, these bugs when appearing on the customer's environment reflect the poor quality product. But only doing the uh, testing and uh, locating the bug is not sufficient. So it's important uh, to register the defects and fix them so that the system becomes free from that problem. This process uh, is nothing but a bug life cycle. That means uh, we have to track the bug from its uh, birth until its end. It's nothing but life cycle of bug. So you may uh, raise doubt to what is bug. Bug or defect is the deviation of the system from its uh, correct or expected behavior. Any error or fault in the code or in the system can cause it to produce unexpected output because bugs can be found during any life cycle phase of the product like uh, testing or review or also while the product is in the business use as well. So once the defect is identified, the primary objective is to verify and fix it. Now let us look at uh, what is the bug life cycle. Bug life cycle is the sequence of phases which bug goes through from its identification to the closer. So this life cycle ensures that the fix resolves the bug and also tracks it to the closer. Mostly uh, this process of bugs journey from its uh, start till the end depends on the project. So now let us look at uh, a defect traverse from one state to another in its lifetime as per its status. So there are different sta stages of a typical life cycle of the bugs. Or so look. Uh, so here is the diagram. Look at this diagram. So there are different stages. Are there like a new, assigned, open, fixed, pending retest, retest, and close? So this is the bug life cycle. So it will start from the birth and it will end to the end with the closer. Okay. So the first one, a new. New stage means the it is the first state of defect when it is registered. The bug in the new state shows there is a deviation from the correct behavior of the product. Hence the tester has created a new defect in the bug tracking tool. So the details of the defect have ID, priority, severity, affected areas and recre recreation steps. The next stage is assigned. After a bug creation in the bug tracking tool, QA lead or manager allocates it to the development team or to an individual developer for further analysis. At this stage, the bug moves to assigned stage, as assigned status. The third state is open. Now the developer who is assigned with the bug needs to start working on it. Hence he moves to it open state which implies that the defect is in work in progress now. So the developer recreates the defect and does it analysis. With this analysis he can decide to go ahead with fixing it otherwise he depending on various factors like priority of bug release timeline and scope he can move it to uh, different states uh, which are uh, discussed in the next part that is nothing but deferred a bug moves, moves to deferred state when it's uh, uh, to be fixed later this state shows that the bug will be worked upon in next or up upcoming cycles so the reason for differing the defect can be that bug may be low priority or it may be low risk area there can be release coming up so this defect will go as part of next release 
one more uh, movie here duplicate a bug goes to duplicate status when there is already a bug in the system for the same problem so this bug is just a duplicate of some other bug then the next one is rejected the bug gets rejected when the developer feels it it is an incorrect observation so there can be some configuration issues or misunderstanding of the requirement or incorrect input by the tester so the developer will provide his comments to clarify the same and move the bug to the rejected state the next status is not a bug at times the bug is more of changes request or an enhancement or new feature addition to the product instead of being incorrect behavior while working users may come up with some changes which they feel should become part of the product in this case the bug moves to the not a bug state and it is kept for further research for enhancements the next one is fixed after analysis and recreation the developer fixes the defect and check ins the fixed code into the code as code management system then he moves the defect to the fixed state the next one is pending retest this is the state when the fix of the de uh, de defect is uh, awaiting uh, the retesting by the tester the next one is retest after developer provides the fix for the defect tester retest it the retesting verifies if the fix resolves the defect so in this state the defect is in retest state the next one is reopen if the tester uh, still faces the defect even after deploying the developer fix then the fix from developer does not resolve the defect hence the tester moves the defect to the reopen state finally close once the tester verifies the fix verifies the fix and confirms that the fix from developer resolves the bug he moves the defect to the closed state this marks the closure of the defect life cycle so this is the uh, process of uh, the bug life cycle so i hope you are enjoying my videos so thank you for watching